Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 5 starts now. And we begin here at 5 with charges in the shooting death of a 5-year-old boy who found the gun and pulled the trigger. Prosecutors say the boy's uncle, Keon Pritchett, should not have even had that gun in the first place. Now he's facing five separate charges connected to the death of Carlin McDaniel. Jason Colthorpe in the newsroom to break down the charges. Jason. Yeah, having the gun and the ammunition, guys, is only part of this. Prosecutors allege he also tried to hide what happened after the fact. Who do I have there at the DDC? What's your name? Keon Pritchett. 29-year-old Keon Pritchett pleading not guilty today to five charges, including felony, firearm, and tampering with evidence. The charges stem from the shooting death of five-year-old Carlin McDaniel, who was Pritchett's nephew. It's uh, alleged that uh, the uncle of, of the young boy, um, the defendant, Mr. Keon Pritchett, um, was in possession of, of, a, of a gun when he uh, took the gun and... Um, discarded of it after the shooting, which is why we have, which is what results in the um, felony possession and tampering with evidence. Police believe the boy found the gun and accidentally shot himself in the head Monday night just before 1030 on Oakfield. When police arrived, the boy had already been rushed to the hospital. Um, during the search of the house, there was also a safe found in the basement where the defendant um, sleeps which has his identification in it and also um, some ammunition in it, which is why we have the felon in possession of ammunition. The judge felt this was not a case of intent and decided on a personal bond of $200,000. In terms of an overall danger to the community, this really is the possession of a firearm that he shouldn't have been in possession of, but not any assaultive allegations having to do with the possession of that firearm. Now, if Pritchett makes bond, he'll be confined at home with a GPS tether. He'll be back in court for a preliminary hearing on this case September 8th. We're live in the newsroom. Jason Coulthard, Local 4. Okay, Jason.